I downloaded this sermon from SermonAudio.com about John Huss. It was given by a guy named Dr. Edward Panosian. Forgive me if, if I mispronounced his name. I am very interested in heretics like John Huss, John Wycliffe, Martin Luther, and the like. So I'm always interested to learn about new ones. In this sermon, not only was it interesting to me to find out about John Huss, but I found out about a couple new heretics. The pastor who gave the sermon mentioned there's this monument in Europe of John Huss, John Wycliffe, Wycliffe, however you pronounce it, and two others. It's one Italian guy on there, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But there's another name, Peter Waldo. I read about him on Wikipedia yesterday, and it was very interesting. I hope to learn more about Peter Waldo, and I hope to learn more about other heretics as well. Personally, I find heretics who are men of God, who are spiritual men, to be more inspiring than so-called self-proclaimed heretics who are atheists, but are very crotchety and are in free societies. These people, who are the true heretics of history, stood up for truth in the face of great adversity. They got excommunicated, which was a huge deal back then. They got punished, and sometimes they were even put to death. It certainly beats some dumb old atheist who believes in nothing making some rigid remarks on YouTube in a free country like the United States or the United Kingdom 